Hello there, my name's Sean Lloyd. I did the weather on ITV for hmm, 23, 24 years. I now do the weather worldwide, literally the world's my oyster. I'm passionate about weather, I'm passionate about food, there's a connection there. And so I've come to Hangoid Hall here, to the kitchen, to find out just which qualifications are required in order to work in the kitchen. For the weather, I need a lot. How many do chefs need? Right then, so what we're going to do yep. is uh, we're just going to run through the, uh, the fish dish. Really simple way of doing it for home as well. So if I start on the fish, yeah. and then we'll, uh, we'll work on the veg together, yeah? You know, before I start digging into that, I want to know about qualifications, because in my world, they're the be all and end all, but yeah. is it the same for you? No, it, it's totally different. I mean, a lot of chefs say qualifications are a no-no. I actually think they're, they're quite a vital thing for, for young people to get. Some of the things you learn at college, um, you know, the basic sources and things like that, it does stand you in good stead. <laughs> Are vocational qualifications important to you? Fundamentally, yes, absolutely. It, it's a cutting edge between someone that's already had a little bit of training and someone that's got no training. If you were asking me, give me a 50-50 choice of which one I'd take, I'd take the one with the vocational qualifications every time. As long as they have the passion, we can make it work. So as Mr. Shangoid Hall, your <laughs> message to a student would be what? Get your vocational qualifications, Write me a letter, drop your CV, I'll happily look at it. <laughs>